Well, this is a nice F-250 Lariat. So, all right guys, we're back on the channel and I had a lot of you guys ask me to see some of the bodywork side of the repairs at the shop. So we're gonna take this one all the way from the repair all the way up to the paint and the full build on this one. So I wanted to show you guys this truck here on this side because once we get it over to the other side, you guys are gonna see how big of a repair that this is. All right, so you guys see here, this is a very, very big repair. And I wanted to show this one to you guys because there's a lot that goes into this type of a repair by following the OEM manufacturer's procedures because this is a structural repair. So everything you do has to be done by the book. That way this truck is gonna go back together exactly the way Ford wants and how we want it to be the right way. So we got Dan over here. You guys have seen him before in the videos. You guys know he's a top level body man, obviously, that can do this type of a repair. So we're gonna go over with him some of the procedures to this job, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the video right now on why we're gonna be fixing this. This one here had a spot that was torn on this here uniside, and I'm gonna show you that now, and him working on it, getting it to this point, taking it apart, and then we're gonna go ahead and talk to Dan on the procedures and how this job has to be done so it's done the right way. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do here is show you some of the repair paperwork and look at how many procedures you have to follow in order to do this job the way that they need it to be done to be correctly repaired. So here's Dan, you guys have seen him in some of the other videos when we did the Ferrari and all that stuff like that for Sam Crack. He's the one doing this job and uh, we're gonna talk to him about it. So what is the biggest thing about this job that you have to make sure that you do correctly with it? Well, the, the each piece that you're replacing comes with procedures attached to the piece. But usually all data is more accurate because it's more up to date in case anything's changed. Look at both of them. You guys see here we have the whole unicide. He's got it already drilled out because you guys seen in that other video I showed you the clips. He was drilling out all those rivets that the factory puts in there. And that's how this thing is going to go together. So this thing is also glued together as well as riveted, right? What do you got done so far? You have it all taken down and ready for the panels to go in? Everything's, everything's been prepped and e-coated, except for where it's to be bonded. The, the complete vehicle has been assembled, all the holes punched for the SPRs, the rivets, and the, and the solid rivets going back in it. Disassembled, and we have all the parts 
E coated, marked out where everything's to be bonded inside and out. Hopefully, in the end, you won't be able to tell the job's been done. That's what we're shooting for. All right, so this is the procedures, and you see here he's got it all ground. We did do the E coat. Dan went ahead and took care of that. That way, once this thing goes back together, there won't be any sign of a repair on it. But you don't want to get any paint on the areas that you're going to be bonding that glue because then you won't have good adhesion with it. But you guys see here, we've got three pieces. This is just the inner structure of this vehicle here. And then you have the unicide. We've got two more down here on the floor. We've got one in here. This is the center pillar of the inner. And this is an all aluminum vehicle here. So you have to do it based off of all aluminum products. And uh, that's why they like to use the uh, self-piercing rivets and things like that. So we do have that done. I'll show you guys real quick the riveting and bonding station here from Pro Spot. This is the gun. And these are the rivets here. These are all designed from Ford and they go back in to the right place. You gotta make sure that you put as many as they want you to put in it. You just don't just put them wherever you want. So look at the amount of paperwork that goes into one of these repairs in order to get this job done the right way. So this is the SPR layout. So you got your rivets they want you to put in or the SPRs all around. They mark them, they tell you how many they want you to put in as well as what size they want you to put in. So there's a lot involved in this repair and that's why I wanted to show you guys this type of quality repair that we do here. All right, so he's gonna start installing it. Everything's gotta go in at one time because you have to glue it and hit it with those SPRs. So we're gonna start up here, here in this intersection here and then he'll work his way down and probably into the center pillar and then work his way around. But we'll follow that part of it here and I'll show you guys some of the progress once he gets rolling on it. Hi, my name is Danny. This is how I got into the business of fixing automobiles. It all started when I was 19, when I backed into the cook's car at a restaurant, Mouth of the South, in my hometown, Clewiston, Florida. I told the lady that I would fix it at the Ford dealership body shop where I was not employed at the time. I went to the body shop Monday morning to explain to the manager, Robert, what I had done, which he was already aware of since the woman had called him. He told me the car was already here. Let's see what you can do. Robert was an old school body man that could do it all. It took me two days as Robert walked me through the process of repairing the car from start to finish. Long story short, we delivered the car and the lady was happy, however informed me that I should watch where I was backing up. As it turned out, Robert offered me a job and took me under his wing. He worked with me every day. I learned metal straightening and refinishing using lacquer paints and single stage urethane that had just became popular. I worked with Robert for a couple of years, but the dealership did not pay well for a young man starting a family. When I got a call from Timmy, the Chevy dealership body shop manager, he said he heard I was looking to make a move and offered me a job starting at $12 flat rate. I found out years later that Robert had set up the call from Timmy. Working with him for 10 years felt like working with family. We restored old cars together in our spare time. His being a 1941 Chevy business coupe and a 1972 Nova. I restored a 1968 Firebird convertible and a few early 80s Trans AMs. We were living the dream. Looking for a change, my family and I moved to Northeast Tennessee where I spent 20 plus years working for a family owned body shop. While working there, I had an amazing opportunity to be a part of a restoration project involving a P-38 Lightning known as the Glacier Girl. Alongside my friend Wade, the painter, we started out repairing and painting the drop fuel tanks and a few of the cockpit components. Ultimately, we ended up in Middlesboro, Kentucky, painting the entire aircraft. Although I was a small part of the restoration, I was very proud to be a part of it. As empty nesters, my wife and I ended up back in Florida. A few jobs later, I landed with some of the best body men and painters in the business. Reflecting as I write this, I have learned so much from some of the greatest teachers. Just when you think you know it all, something new comes out and changes everything. Just like the truck in this video, where the tools and procedures used to repair this one vehicle amazes me. I feel like I have been blessed with a gift as a job I love. On to the next, we'll get them.
All right, so we've got it in the paint shop now. The truck is finally in my hands. You guys see Dan did a quality job and he's told you a little bit about his story, but he's done a lot more since that time. He's certified in almost every manufacturer out there and he's very successful with his iCar and all that stuff like that. So that's why he's able to work on these aluminum vehicles because he's certified and uh, he is a top of the line tech and he is an awesome guy to work with. So we're gonna go ahead now and get this thing prepped out in the booth. That way we can get it back over to Dan and he can build it and show you guys how nice of a job this thing is gonna look all finished up. All right, so that's the job. It's all prepped out. And you guys see that we stayed out of the roof. That's what makes me love Dan. He's very clean. He doesn't nick panels next to each other and he can keep that repair nice and clean. You guys see the inside is all cut in. That was done before the interior went back in. That way we can drive the truck and make it mobile easier. Let's get it in the booth. Let's wrap it up and let's shoot it. So I wish they all would go that fast. You guys see we buzzed around in there, but this video is mainly to highlight my man Dan doing the body work and showing you how nice of a job he does. But one of my old time buddies showed up at the shop. He works for NCS, the company that delivers the paint for Crash Champions. And uh, he's gonna give us a little bit of a rundown on how busy it is out there in the industry right now. What's up, man? How you well, been? Good, brother. Man, it's been a hot minute. So how's things out there in the field right now? Everything's good, man. Um, we deliver to all the crash champions. Because you guys spell, sell all of the BASF stuff. All the BASF From solvent stuff. to water From, to base. Uh, Diamond all the way up to Glazerup 100 line. So, so you guys are- solvent and water. Nice. All, all right, so that's my man. I had to show him in the video. We haven't seen him in a minute. And let's get back to showing you guys the truck once it bakes, and then we'll bring it over to Dan and have him build it.
All right, so we got it all finished up and he did a heck of a job building it, getting it all finished up. We didn't have a chance to wash it. It's getting late in the day from top to bottom. It looks beautiful. And I think he did a heck of a job following all the procedures from Ford. That way this is a quality repair. So make sure you guys give him a thumbs up in the comments and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.